The Biden administration announced today it'll spend more than $3 billion to develop antiviral pills to help treat COVID-19 and investigate other viruses that could trigger future pandemics. It's the sixth of the money that the U U.S. put into developing COVID vaccines, but health experts say they hope this big investment will lower profile research and that it will make a big difference. This program is going to bring together leading scientists from academia as well as industry to accelerate the development of new antivirals. And as I mentioned, it's also going to target other viruses of pandemic potential. Dr. Fauci says vaccine distribution is still a priority, but he hopes this new program can be as successful as similar projects around HIV and hepatitis C. Our nine health expert, Dr. Paul Coley, is with us now. And over the last year, we've seen different treatments for COVID-19. We've talked about booster shots for people who are already vaccinated. This, though, is different. So talk about an antiviral pill. What would it do? When would someone be taking it? This is really a reaction to somebody getting sick, Tom. So an antiviral pill is exactly what it suggests, which is that it prevents viral replication so that the virus doesn't make copies of itself inside the host and cause further damage. So the time to take this would really be at the onset of symptoms. Now, what we had for COVID-19 was antivirals such as remdesivir, but those were given through the IV. So it really was almost too late by the time people got to them. So a pill would change that whole uh, equation because you take it so early early and really prevent people from getting into the hospital. So I'm just trying to put put this together. Do you think that people would be taking an antiviral pill without being sick or would it be something where if you were to get sick, that is when it would be introduced to, to you, you'd be able to get this stuff? So the latter. So sort of think of it like an antibiotic. You know, if you get a sinus mm -hmm. infection, at the first sign of symptoms, you want to try to treat that with a medication. And this is the same. We have antivirals for flu out there, such as Tamiflu. And now the idea is to make antivirals for some of the other viruses out there that we know, as Dr. Fauci says, may have pandemic potential. So we can be prepared next time if this hits us. All right, two tacks here. One is the financial commitment that they're making towards going down this road. And then the reality of this, what is it, what has to happen? Tackle both those, if you will. So I think the financial commitment really speaks to a philosophy shift a little bit away from the vaccinations now that we have some breathing room, more towards treatment and prevention for the next one. It also starts to tell us that we really do think that this may become seasonal and something that sticks around, which is why we want to have this option available. And in terms of making it a reality, Tom, it's all the same steps that we went through with the vaccine. So we first have to research it, then manufacture, then make it accessible, and then decide how to keep the cost at bay. So the nice thing here is we have a little bit bit of a shortcut for the COVID antiviral oral therapy because Merck has already made an oral pill that in early stage clinical trials appears very effective and the U.S. just bought 1.7 million doses of that last week. So now it's just, a it's just a manufacturing issue getting it tested in larger trials and hopefully by fall we can get it out there. Without the pressure, I mean when you think of the pressure of trying to make that vaccine and make lots of it and start to distribute it, there is a little more daylight here as far as time, time to do the research, time to do some testing and time to figure out the best way to get it out into the public. There really is, and I think even bigger than that, we really have learned such valuable lessons about how prepared we are as a country, as a world, for these types of issues. So I think that this is really teaching us lots of valuable things, and, and like I said, I'm really hopeful the research will pan itself out so that come fall and next year, if one of us feels sick, we could just take a pill or antiviral, keep ourselves out of the hospital, hopefully. We'll keep an eye on it, and of course, you'll be keeping us up to date as well. As always, thanks, Dr. Pyle Coley.